Hi, I'm meteorologist Alexandra Cranford getting you an update from WWL Louisiana about hurricane season. This is June 3rd. We're Tuesday and we're looking at a little bit of action in the tropics. It's not actually a really big deal, but this is just a collection of some showers and storms off the coast of Florida, given a low chance of development from the National Hurricane Center. So we'll just talk about this briefly, get you up to date on what's happening with it and take a look at what we're expecting for hurricane season in general in just a second. Formation potential from the National Hurricane Center, you can see 10% chance of development in two days and same thing in the next seven days. A pretty low end chance of this actually becoming a tropical system, a depression, storm or hurricane. But this is just some showers and you can see these higher cloud tops forming up here and there. Looking at what we have as far as radar goes, this is how satellite and radar looks over Florida at this point. A decent bit of shower action over North Florida, a little bit south as well. Miami getting some decent rain for this afternoon and also just off of the coast. So what we're thinking is that this collection of showers and storms, this disturbed weather will likely move to the northeast. And when it generally gets out over the warm water as opposed to in the Florida region right now, once it's over those warm waters of the Western Atlantic with sea surface temperatures in the lower 80s right now, it will have at least some chance of transitioning to a tropical system. Not a very high chance for that to happen. Let's look at precision cast, for example, uh, going forward in time into Wednesday. It does have some intensifying of some showers and storms. It has a little bit of that spin that you can see. It does look like it would be somewhere along the coast of Georgia, South Carolina or North Carolina by Wednesday night. And then as we move into Thursday, you can see that was that little bit of spin showing up on that model. So regardless, it does look like along Florida and along the southeast coast of the US, including the Carolinas, some rain is going to be coming because of this system. But whether it will actually make it into a completely tropical kind of system is pretty doubtful right now. One thing that we're looking for the longer term forecast for our part of Louisiana, we're in New Orleans, of course, WWL Louisiana or other spots along the Gulf Coast is that we do have this time of year often these plumes of Saharan dust and we have some right now. We have a big plume heading our way in the next couple of days toward the end of this week by Friday. And then this takes us a long way out. We are expecting to get even more plumes of the dust. So they come out this time of year from over the Saharan Desert, goes out over the Atlantic Ocean, and eventually can make it toward the Caribbean and the Gulf and can kind of swirl along the Gulf Coast, giving us that hazy look to the sky. And this weekend, we might have some pretty sunrises and sunsets because of those particles in the air and the light shines through them when it's on the horizon and creates a pretty glow and pretty colorful kind of look. Now, if that little disturbed area does become a tropical system, uh, meaning if it does eventually get a name, that would be a tropical storm status. It would get Andrea and then we'll be looking after that for Barry, Chantal and Dexter. Now, will it actually become Andrea? Again, not a high chance for that, but we'll be watching it just in case. Looks like maybe a couple in or maybe above that for rainfall along the coast of the US with that system. 2025 hurricane season, our NOAA forecast is 13 to 19 named storms. Note I've put the average numbers here so you can compare pretty much close to average or maybe slightly above average. They have six to 10 of those storms becoming a hurricane and three to five of those making it to major hurricane status of category three or higher. So this is what we have expected for our uh, forecast for the Gulf Coast for the general US area. There's just that one spot right now. As we look at longer range forecasts, it doesn't really look like we'll have much to contend with as far as threats for Louisiana and other spots in the next maybe week plus. And that's about as far as you can really look out reliably with tropical systems. I did want to point out with our local seven day forecast for New Orleans, north of Lake Pontchartrain and south of the lake, we do have an enhanced chance for some showers in the next several days, about a 30 40% chance Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. It looks like this weekend will drop it a little bit on Saturday and early next week we may have a front moving toward us, some disturbed weather, possibly drumming up a few scattered showers and maybe a few thunderstorms. Not an unwelcome thing often for us this time of year to help us out with the heat, which it may do. Also, our humidity is edging up and you'll note that in the next couple days really surging back, but we do have some breezy kind of conditions. So I think this Tuesday evening should be pretty pleasant. We'll eventually get into the 70s tonight and highs on Wednesday about 88 before we get to lower 90s for the weekend. Stay with us on WWL Plus. Watch our news cast on Channel 4. You can find us at WWLTV.com. Needless to say, we'll have tons of tropical updates coming up for you all throughout the season.